Okay, welcome to this week's question, which comes from an anonymous mother. If I'm limited to 20 to 30 minutes to work out each weekday, what would you recommend would be the most effective way to spend my time? How do I program longer cardio workouts into my week? Weekends are available for this. And also mobility work slash stretching is a day off necessary. Okay, I'm gonna chicken scratch answer this. So I'll be kind of all over the place and then connect the dots. Uh, first off, is a day off necessary? A day, I'd, I'd say a couple of days. Not just like laying around scrolling on the internet, but um, doing something that's rejuvenating on those days off, like meditation and breath work and journaling. Because as a parent, uh, and I'm assuming it says mother, I'm assuming that stay at home mother, which is a 24 seven, seven day a week job, super high stress. None of us work as hard as you do. So if you have time, uh, you know, if sleep wasn't good that night, you're going to get more out of doing a 20 minute meditation breath or meditation, um, to calm your nervous system and reduce stress that sets you up for more mobility. Because if you're carrying tension, you can foam roll and stretch all day long. It's, it's gonna have temporary symptomatic relief, kind of like putting a Band-Aid on a bullet hole. Uh, it doesn't resolve the issue. So what you wanna do is come into mobility work, having a calm nervous system and muscles that are responsive to uh, flexibility and mobility. The other thing is movement patterns. So if you're carrying a lot of stress, all of your movements become tense. So then all day long, you're strength training tension. I hope that makes sense. You, you want to release tension from the body so that your movement patterns become more ease. You move with ease. That's the idea. And then you don't have to spend as much time doing stretching and mobility because your body is more mobile and stretched from being calmer. All right, um, 20 to 30 minutes working out. Well, a big piece with parents is there's a lot of time spent hunched over and looking down uh, and working with your hands and serving. So service providers tend to be leaning over something. Um, posture work and core strength is crucial. If you strength train posture and core strength, which could be a 20 minute workout just doing low impact core exercises on the floor. Uh, if you do that for 20 minutes and you do that three days a week, well, again, trickle down economics by strength training your core and the postural chain muscles, your shoulders relax and you trigger the, the big muscle groups in your back, your lats, which then allow your glutes to activate more. And so now you've got the biggest muscle groups in the body, lats, abs, butt working, which means you're not carrying tension in your shoulders or your pecs. So you have, again, more mobility, more freedom of movement. What this means is you're going to run better. So going back to your question about a longer cardio session, your best bet would be to do on the weekend since you have the time, which means less pressure and more relaxation, do a long run on the weekends, maybe take 90 minutes if you got it, however much time you got. Monday through Friday, you get your three core and posture-based exercises, your two meditation breath work sessions, and then on the weekends, you get your long cardio session. And then just give one day where you plan nothing, because you're such a planner. I mean, parents are planners, so that means you're just planning all the time. Release the planning and just be. You're gonna be physically active. I haven't met a parent yet, especially a mother who is just sitting around all day. I don't see it. You're gonna be moving. You're gonna be doing stuff. Your physical activity, your steps in the day are through the roof, I'm sure. So just be active on your seventh day, but don't plan anything. Does it make sense? So final recap, three days a week, core on the floor, posture-based stuff with some deep breathing exercises mixed in there for 20 to 30 minutes. Two days a week, getting a nice long meditation, journaling some emotions, making sure you're getting everything out so that you calm your nervous system. One day a week on the weekends, doing a super long cardio sesh, 
And then one day a week, your seventh day, don't plan anything, but do be active.